Happy New Year, Christ Kingdom Life Center, and anyone who else might be watching this broadcast. Well, God has let us make it into another year. God has been faithful. Uh, he's been just. He's been loving. Let's continue to pursue him. We ended the year by sharing conversations with you, and I want to begin this year by really sharing some things that I believe are prophetic utterances that God has placed in my in my spirit. Um, I just want to share those with you. Uh, I'm going to try and keep these about anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. Why? Because again, I want you to be like the Church of Berea, that you might um, study the word to see if these things be so. I'm not just going to um, share what I believe is in my heart. I'm going to try and give a biblical frame, uh, frame of reference. Um, because sometimes, even when God is doing a new thing, there's a reference in Scripture that is repeated. Um, so I'm going to, give, going to give you two, um, if you will, prophetic utterances, something that I believe God has said that uh, exposes God's heart, His mind, and His will. And as we do this, if this... Um, if you find this to be so, we ought to begin to make this part of our declaration, part um, of our prayer time, part of our intercession. So the first thing I want you to know um, is that God is rewarding those who diligently seek him. That's the word of God. But I want you to know, as we're talking about God changing your patterns, um, your ways of doing things in 2020, in 2021, you, you really need to move in those things. So um, Hebrews uh, 11 and 6 says this, and it is impossible to please God without faith. And we'll read the following, uh, the B clause of that verse in a minute. Watch this. Uh, to please God requires action. And that's what I want you to hear. It's not, it's not just thought. It's just not a mental ascent. It requires action produced by what you have heard from God. So the action that is required, it pleases God. Watch this though. It doesn't make God love you anymore, but it, it pleases him uh, when you hear something from him and then you respond and act. So let's declare that in 2021, as we're pursuing God and we want to please him, that we will act. And watch this. If faith can go to a different level or dimension of faith, then your your actions, watch this, ought to go to a different level or dimension in 2021. You're not going to be able to just repeat what you've always been doing uh, and get a different result. It's going to require a different action. God is, he's speaking, he's, he's ministering to your hearts right now. Watch this now. The B clause says, Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists first and that he's a rewarder of those who sincerely or diligently seek him. Watch this now. So if I'm going to please God, I want you to, I want you to hone in on this. It's going to really be, um, um, it's going to be congruent. It's going to be equal to what now? Your purpose, your, your assignment, your, your ministry, the thing that God has given you as a blueprint for you to, to build. It's a time to, it's a time to build. The book of Ecclesiastes said there's a time for everything. And I'm, I'm declaring to you, it's a time to build. I can even see it in the, in the midst of the spirit. The foundation has been laid. Now watch this. You have to watch how you build on that foundation. Watch this. It might be uh, that one person built, but uh, I mean, another one laid the foundation. Another one has to build. You ought to hear scripture there, but I'm, I'm telling you, it's time to build that which you have seen in the realm of the spirit. And you have some, some understanding. It's time for you to build that God might be able to fill that with all precious things. Uh, 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 watch this now. Watch this now. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him or those who sincerely uh, seek him. Now watch this. So it has to do with your heart seeking him. It has to do with the intent or why you're seeking him. First of all, it ought to be to be intimate that the God who created everything now gives us an opportunity that we might be in a rich, vital intimate relationship with him. God said that needs to be the first thing. And some of you are going to say in your spirit, in your mind, in your Noah, but that is what I've been doing. But God says there's a different level of intimacy. A different level of intimacy, intimacy means there's a different level of, of, of reciprocal relationship. In other words, there's a different uh, level of which you can receive of him, that you can hear from him, that you might be embraced by him, that he might 
change your language, that he might change your walk, that he might change your belief system, that he might change your trust. It's going to come from a different dimension of intimacy. Watch this though, but it has to do with how you pursue him. And so if you might have been a morning prayer, he might be changing it to a night prayer. If you if, if you haven't been a person who fasted a lot, he might be calling you to fast. If you're a person who, who read uh, 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 scriptures in particular, he might be changing that. He, he might be changing the way you hear him. But, but watch this, but it has to be that you are sincerely seeking him. Watch this now. Uh, uh, Zac Zacchaeus had to run up, run up and, and get up in a sycamore tree when he heard that Jesus was, was coming by. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, I'm going to dine with you tonight. Well, that, that's not, that's nothing small. That's something significant that Jesus would come and sup with him. Uh, uh, watch him. He, he, he sought to hear, to experience the Lord. Watch this now. The woman with the issue of blood says, I've been this way too long. And she made up in her mind, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, she said, I have to do something uh, 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 differently. I'm going to seek him. I'm going to pursue him. But watch this. What's interesting is she made up her mind to pursue him in that manner for that healing. But she pursued him and she got her reward. Watch this now. The Canaanite woman who says, I need my daughter healed. I might not have access in a right uh, uh, to Jesus, uh, but she says, I, I, I have to pursue him. This is where the answer is. Is. Watch this for my family, for, for my child, for somebody in, in, in a particular predicament, situation, uh, uh, dilemma. But but if I can just get to Jesus, if I can if I can have a conversation with Jesus. But watch this now. Uh, she was met by what seemed like opposition. He, Jesus says now healing is the children's uh, bread. And, and, and he wasn't calling her a dog, but he, he was making an illustration. I can't just give this good fresh bread. The dogs, they will not appreciate it. But she says, Lord, watch her, watch her pursuit. Pursuit. Watch her pursuit. Mm, she she said, Lord, if I could just do like the dog says, they get the crumbs that fall from the table. Watch her faith, y'all. She pursued it because she pursued. Mm, her prayer was answered. But watch this. It's a deep revelation where she says, I don't need the whole loaf. If I can get just a crumb, but we've been given the whole loaf, but do we have crumb type of faith that we would pursue God for what it is that we really need? Watch this, but I love it because it wasn't just for her, but it was for somebody she was in an intimate relationship with. I'm telling you right now, pursue God and watch, watch, watch you of watch the little bit of faith you say you have. Watch it move mountains. In Jesus' name, it's it's a year. Watch this way, your pursuit. Ah, God is watching your, your your pursuit. How you're going after Him? Watch this now. Another one where, where where folks were pursuing not for themselves, but for somebody who couldn't even do it for themselves. It's it, it's in it many times in Scripture. It's called the the man that was born by four heard that there was a church meeting. Ah, God, and that Jesus was in the midst of it. And they, they said, let's go get him. And they, they, they brought him on a, on a cart, if you will. And they got outside the meeting. And there wasn't, wasn't no way they could, they could get there. So they climbed up on the roof, broke the roof up, and lowered him in front of Jesus. Do you see that level of pursuit, y'all? Do, do, do you see the action? Do you see the action? Do you see the action? Do you see the diligence? Do you see the sincerity? Do you see a purposeful pursuit that will not de be denied. Watch this because God wants us in his presence. You have to make up in your mind that he is not keeping you from his presence. He wants you to be there, but it's your pursuit. Watch this now. So we pursue him in all that we do, how we live, how we, how we talk, how we, how we give, how we, how, how, how we, how we administer to, 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 to one another. It, it, it's how we pray. It's how we worship. All of these things, we, we're pursuing God. And ultimately, our relationship with him and watch this, our purpose, our assignment. You can't, listen, you can't please God and say no to the assignment. You can't please God and tell him uh, no uh, to the things that he's asking you to do for the, for, for the ways he's asking you to be. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his way of doing things. This is not the time to be weary in well-doing. You pursue him by what you do and how you do it with the attitude in which you do it with. 
Y'all, I'm at 10 minutes already now. I, 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 so I hope you you hear that your, your pursuit is going to be rewarded. Watch this. I, I, even faster than it has previously been rewarded. Mm, even faster than it has been previously rewarded. Quicker. More instantaneous. Oh, thank you, God. And again, and again, first of all, yes, those, those things are coming, but, but first of all, your, your relationship goes to another dimension in 2021. Are you with me? Are you with me? Now, the next thing I want you to hear, this is, uh, uh, a year in which, uh, uh, the unknown, hear me now, unlikely, small, rejected, misunderstood, where the purposes of God come to fruition. I heard one uh, uh, prophet, uh, 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 and God will confirm by two or three witnesses, I heard one prophet say uh, uh, it like this, is, is it going to be as if you just popped on the scene. Uh, but it, it's not the case. Now, watch this. Uh, 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 in 1 Samuel 16, uh, and I'm going to talk you through this because I'm, I'm giving you the, uh, the the first part and then uh, the ending. The ending. 1 Samuel 16. Samuel anoints David to be king. Now, uh, it, it reads like this. Uh, uh, verse 1. Now the Lord said to Samuel, you have mourned long enough for Saul. I rejected him as king of Israel. So fill your flask with olive oil and go to Bethlehem. Find a man named Jesus, um, excuse me, Jesse, who lives there, for I have selected him. Some says I have seen him. I have chosen one of his sons to be my king. And the Lord, uh, 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 so he gets up and he goes. Watch this. Y'all know the story. Um, um, Jesse brings out all of his sons and none of them, even the ones who look kingly. Uh, God says, no, that's, that's not the one. Well, 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 well there's got to be a one. Samuel says, I cannot leave yet. He says, he's out there tending. He's out there tending sheep. He didn't even get invited to the party because his own um, father didn't believe he would be the one. Mm, thank you. Y'all got to hear God talking now. Uh, uh, it, it's unlikely that he is uh, the one. Now, when David becomes before him, the Lord said, watch this. This is the one. Anoint him. Watch this. So as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took the flask of oil and he brought uh, had brought and anointed David with the oil and the spirit of the Lord uh, came powerfully upon David from that day on. Then Samuel returned to Ramah. Watch this. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the Lord, child. We win victory in this time. Why? Because God has chosen us and the anointing of God is on us powerfully. Watch this. That we might fulfill his purpose. But watch this. It doesn't mean that we're not going to go anything, that we won't have challenges. And more importantly, hearing me, hear me, y'all. It does not mean that you are not going to have to educate yourself that you're going to have to have some experiences that you glean, glean understanding from, that you will have some painful uh, points, uh, that you will have some, 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 some pursuing to do, that you might be able to fulfill what God called you to do. Watch this. It, 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 watch this. Uh, I, I want to say it this way so it shocks you. The anointing is not enough without the pursuit of everything that goes with that anointing, that the anointing will come on that now prepares you that you might fulfill the purpose. Oh God. Watch this. There's this fight right now in the midst of in the midst of the church about ministry, and you've got those who have gone uh, uh, to seminary, those who have gone to the, the, the halls of educating, fighting those who are anointed, and they're going back and forth. But I stand to tell you it's a season where both are necessary. Both are necessary. Come together, stop fighting, and come together and realize it's all of that that will cause us to be able to fulfill God's purposes. The anointing covers every area that needs, watch this, to be infused with the power of God so that the people of God can fulfill their purpose. But you have to be chosen. You have to be uh, anointed. And there must be times of preparation. There must be mentorship. Okay, okay, okay. Watch this down. So again, so, 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 so again, 
the year we see or we experience the, the unknown, the unlikely, the small, the rejected, the misunderstood come to the forefront. But what, are, what, what, what is God saying now? What is God saying? It, it's not always the likely choice, but watch this now. Let me give the end from the beginning. Uh, uh, it's going to be 15 years before David actually moves into, watch this, in the natural, being recognized by what God has placed on him, 15 years. Watch this now, watch this, watch this now. Uh, 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 uh. So how long, uh, or what did David go through uh, that he might be king? When David was a teenager, he was young, unlearned, uninitiated, inexperienced, no frame of reference, unlikely. He was anointed king of Israel. He, did, he didn't look like he would be the choice that, that it would come to, but, but that's who God chose. Watch this. Uh, it was then when he was young that he faced Goliath. He fought some of his biggest battles of his life and God's people while he was in the process, young, not yet. Watch this, not yet ordained, not, not yet going through the, the regalia and all of the, the, the pomp and circumstances of being anointed and being recognized as king. He fought some of his biggest battles in its infancy. Hear me right now. You'll win the battle because it's not yours. It's the Lord. And the enemy always wants to try and kill things. This is another message in the midst of its infancy, but it shall not be so. It shall come to pass because God's hand is on it. And God is going to use everything that the enemy meant for bad to equip you that you might continue in the purposes of God. In Jesus name. Watch this now. Watch this now. So he fought some of his his biggest battles when, when when he was young and watch it, it wasn't a battle just for him but it was for the people who he called who God called him to watch this now so he killed Goliath he was banished by Saul the very person who watch this me uh, had the ability to mentor him into the to the kingship but so sometimes the very circles that should should accept you that should acknowledge you they haven't they've you, but don't you worry because God does some of his best work in us when we're banished, when we're in the midst of the desert, when we've been rejected in Jesus. And you're, you're healed from rejection, from the spirit of rejection, from uh, from, from the spirit of I'm, I'm not worthy, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not likely, I, I'm not sure. You're, you're, you're cured of that right now in Jesus' name. The anointing is on you that you might become and do what God said you would do in Jesus' name, banished by Saul in the midst of the desert, lived on the run, lived on the run, lived on the, lived on the run because it was not time yet to settle. Forced out of the nation. Watch this. It was nearly 15 years between the time that he was anointed king and actually became king. 15 years ah, of process, 15 years of leading small, because if you're faithful in the small things, you'll be faithful in the great things. Faithful in leading warriors. Faithful in honoring even those who did not honor him. Faithful in his pursuit to God. It's the year, it's, it's the season that God puts you on the stage, if you will, and allows you to do what he's called you to do, to perform what he's called you to do. It's that time, it's that, it's that a season. And, and again, for some people, it's gonna seem like it's suddenly. It, it, it will appear that these ministers, these ministries, these churches, these organizations, these businesses, these schools, these media outlets, these these entrepreneurial endeavors, these, these innovations, these, 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 these people have suddenly came, but God has processed them that they're now able to lead, to do like never before because they've been processed through time. They've been educated through time. They've been inculcated. That means the experience, the culture through time. And now, like David, when they finally are on the throne, they know something of God and God's way of doing things, but they also know something of the natural way that they must progress 
and watch this and become innovative and, and change and break systems. How? That God's purposes, God might be pleased in Jesus' name. It's your season. It's your season. It's your it's your season. Those dimensions are open. Though it's your season. Those opportunities are open. It's, it's your season. You you've been processed for it. You've been made for it in Jesus' name. It's not that you came from nowhere. You came from God. In Jesus' name. So remember to pursue. It, 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 you're pursuing now is going to yield a product from God in you. And it's also a time for the unknown, the unlikely, the misunderstood the, mm, to come on the scene, anointed to do the exploits of God. I'll be with you Tuesday night. Uh, I believe another, I have another prophetic utterance that I'm going to pour into us. And I believe we'll be unpacking them in 2021. But listen, you got to pursue. You got to pursue study to see if these things be so. If God is speaking, if you hear the voice of God in the midst of these messages, share them out. I, I believe there, there, there's a lot God's doing because he's always up to something. But he reveals it to those he's intimate with who are pursuing. God be with you. We thank you again for all of you who are supporting, who are seeking God in the midst of your, of, of your tithe and your offering, doing it God's way. We declare that the windows of heaven are open, that he's pouring out a blessing, that there's not room enough to receive it. He's rebuking the devourer for your sake. All of the promises of God are activated. And if for anyone, if this is a time for you to rededicate or to even come to the Lord, do it right now. You have all of our information. Reach out to us. Uh, rededicate yourself to the Lord or give your life to the Lord. There ain't nothing you can do that's better. Well, we love you. We'll see you Tuesday. Welcome to the new thing, the new year, the new you, in Jesus' name, amen.